So today, I'm working on the trailer, and the, these uh, yellow tubes here hold a big spring that helps lift up the tailgate when it's time to, uh, you know, raise it into the upward, upright position. So the tailgate there. Now the issue is, when I installed the, the uh, yellow uh, lift helper springs, I used these pieces of wood underneath of them to, to create the proper spacing. Because the thing, the yellow thing needs to sit up above a little place where the pin attaches. The problem is that over, over enough years, the wood has given up. It's rotten and fallen out. So today, I'm making some wooden, uh, sorry, some metal pieces, some steel pieces. You can see here this, this steel tubing here. It's an inch and a half square and about um, an eighth of an inch thick. Maybe, and uh, I'm going to put cut it into pieces to put underneath here. So you can see I've cut one already. This piece here is going to fit right underneath of that place, that point where a bolt goes through. And then there's bolts at each end of the yellow pieces. So <clears throat> what I'm planning to do is use this saw right here to cut the, the, um, the piece of metal. So this thing has a big 14 inch diameter abrasive blade and that just really wears away the material in a big um, cut it's called creatively called a cutoff saw and down here there is a, uh, a little built-in vise to hold the um, to hold the material in place so today right right now I'm gonna go ahead and put my piece in there like that slide it over and lined up just right so that it will cut right on my line and then right here I can tighten it up this is basically like a little vise it's going to squeeze that piece in there nice and firm and hold it down to the base of the machine and now we'll put it on the uh, put the camera on the tripod so I can operate the machine Let's see how that looks. Zoom in just a little bit. The action should be right there. I'll go ahead and, and uh, <clears throat> see how that works. It's going to throw a whole bunch of sparks and stuff, but that's cool. Let's see what happens. Just have to reposition it just a tiny bit, get it right on the mark. should be able to we should be able to see right there that we've cut it off there's a great big um, rough burr on the edge there I'll need to, to uh, file off and make it smooth it's good and hot right now 
And the, the machine goes slower when it's cutting through the thicker parts of the metal. So when it's cutting up here, and the, the blade is all involved in that whole piece of metal at once, it takes a while to cut through. Then it's cutting through these, these narrower cross sections. It looks like a lot more progress. It goes down to here, and then it hits this solid piece again and takes another you know, longer bit of time to get through that last bit of the cut. But that's, that's the cutoff saw, and that's what it does. It's pretty cool to see all those, um, all those sparks come off of it. Huh? So now, it's a little later in the day, but you can see there are the um, little pieces of metal, the little square tubing that's been cut and then bolted in to hold the, the yellow um, spring assist mechanism in place there and with the bolts coming through I hope you can see that and this one right here and of course the same thing on the other side so there's a big a big round spring inside this square tube that then connects with a cable to the gate so when you when a person lowers the gate the spring <coughs> helps you know, make it easier. It doesn't slam down as hard on the pavement. And when you go to raise it up, the spring helps lift it up. But you can see here, a little spacer makes it so that that cable doesn't run into the the uh, holder here that holds the gate shut. Okay. 